Hello, my name is Caroline White. I am a former dancer, professional, and current studio owner at Two Shoes Dance Academy here in Melbourne, Australia. As you are aware, the dance and performing arts industries have been brought to their knees under the current government's approach to classify our industry on the same level as the sex industry and adult gyms. Dance needs to be classified and should always be classified as a safe place of education. In the past 18 months, Melbourne has been in lockdown for in excess of 110 days. Our industry has not been able to operate in our studio in excess of 250 days. The reason being is our industry is the first to close and the last to reopen. This has resulted in many dance operators ceasing to exist, enrollment or memberships reducing by 75%, performance opportunities to practice our craft being depleted, and the integrity of our arts industry in Melbourne as world renowned being at stake. I've spoken to others in our industry this week and we have a very big problem here in Victoria. Many professional dancers and business owners in our industry are ineligible to receive any form of financial support during these lockdowns. The financial catastrophe that has evolved as a result in this industry is an ongoing concern to the survival of our industry. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The harm to our dancers not being able to attend their safe space of learning and fun and community connection is unfolding every day. We as teachers are being forced to provide our online lessons as support tools to assist our children during these very challenging times. The majority of our businesses provide services to children. We know from working with children, their happiness is a holistic necessity. The government's rhetoric of protecting our most vulnerable is false. Our children are the most vulnerable in our community. The measure of our children's health is not entirely based upon their physicality. Their mental health and well-being is just as important to their development into adulthood. Children require not only the basics of health, but education, the ability to exercise, play and form friendships. These skills are vital to the development of our future. I fear for the dancers and young people of Victoria, the vital skills they are being denied to contribute to our society in the future, because it is our children that are going to, going to live with the ongoing destruction of COVID. It has been evidence that children are the least likely to contract COVID and if they are the least likely to contract COVID, they are also the least likely to transmit. There has not been any evidence of COVID contraction in dance studio settings in Australia, which justifies the unreasonable and disproportionate approach towards our industry to operate. Our support, we are delighted and grateful for the approach of Mr. David Limbrick, member for South Eastern Metropolitan. We appreciate his efforts in hearing our voices and advocating for our industry, as well as Peter from National Photography and Danny from Dance Train Magazine. We need your help. Now is the time for our community to stand together and dance together your attendance is needed at tomorrow's COVID safe meet movement at 10 a.m. at the Victorian Arts Grass Precinct. This venue has been chosen as it is where our children aspire to. It is iconic to our industry as the MCG is to footballers. This precinct has supported and held our most talented within our industry to showcase to the world our excellence to the arts but it is also in the dark. I'll see you tomorrow as our dancers march proudly in our tutus down St Kilda Road because apparently it isn't safe for them to do so in our studios.